I asked Deb what word she thought best described Beth. She said the word capable has described Beth since she was a little girl. She is well organized, detail oriented, hard working, and neat. She has the best handwriting of any left handed person I have ever met. <laughs> We come to Tom Grove. Let's hear it for a big dog. Like Beth, Tom is also very competent. He is smart and ambitious. He sets the records for friends. But more seriously, if you add up the number of years that Tom's parents John's parents and Deb and I have been married. It's a total of 131 years, and none of us is opting out yet. We're filled with the love and happiness uh, for Beth and Tom that can only come as man and wife. May the two of you always be a team and support each other with your love and passion and kindness. So please join me at this point in toasting Beth and Tom and wishing them all the best for a long and happy life together. Beth and Tom, we love you. A cross with two interlocking rings is a common symbol for marriage, emphasizing the central place of Christ in the marriage relationship. In times of difficulty and distance, Christ gently turns us to one another. Christ is committed to always tugging and pulling you toward each other, always ready to clothe you again and again with the patience, kindness, forgiving hearts, and love that is selfless and self-giving. In the presence of God in this community, I, Tom, take you, Beth. I, Beth, take you, Tom. To be my wife. To be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In plenty and in want. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. Beth, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. Tom, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. Even though Beth's my little sister, I often find myself looking up to her. I truly have been blessed to have such a wonderful sister and such a good friend. She has a generous and gracious heart, and I really admire her caring nature, one that she demonstrates through her actions all the time. 
She's a great friend, perhaps some here would even say the world's greatest. She truly values and treasures her friendships and she spends a lot of time to nurture them. Beth is smart, beautiful, confident, and successful. She's always fully committed to everything she does. That's how I know her and Tom will have a wonderful marriage. They really have a great partnership. I know that Tom fully embraces all of Beth's finest qualities. When asked what he most likes about Beth's personality, Tom said, she's almost always happy. And having grown up with Beth, I can say this is not always true. <laughs> so Tom, I think this has a little something to do with her being around you. Remember all the things that made you fall in love, and don't stop making big plans for all the exciting things in your future. So I love you both. So proud to be standing here with you today. So please join me in toasting the happy couple to wish them a long and blessed life together and to the start of the world's greatest marriage. I thought about Tom and I's relationship and I was like, okay, you know, what should I talk about? What should be the purpose, the focus of this speech? And what I realized was that the central tenet in Tom and I's relationship has always been risk. <laughs> and in high school, you know, we, uh, we would go watch movies, you know, go to the movies, right? And one time after Fast and the Furious, we decided to take Tom Stad's Camaro out until Grove lost control of the car and hit a curb and blew his dad's tire. And Mr. Grove's scary. Very scary. <laughs> um, as we grew older and headed to college, we continued to refine our risk calculus. 2013, Tom gives me a call and says, Hey, man, I met this girl at this festival in Chicago and I'm super excited, uh, but I didn't get her number. Luckily, Tom got best last name. We said, okay, what, what do we do? And Tom was getting impatient, and he was like, maybe I'll Facebook message her. I said, you know what, man? Let's, let's talk about risk here. What do you got? What do you got to lose? So Tom messaged Beth, and here we are today. Needless to say, we both owe Mark Zuckerberg a beer. <laughs> In closing, Grove has proven time and time again that he makes great decisions. I know that you knocked it out of the park with Beth. I am honored to have the opportunity of growing with you, man and uh, be your brother and stand here today. I love you. And let's tears to Beth and Tom. <laughs>